Perfect. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we are doing non-bookish related things. Um, I know probably earlier this year and some of last year I was doing a lot of candles. I was doing some candles and convos which are going to continue in the future as well. Um, but I have been trying to really get my candle business up and going. Um, whew. It's been a journey. It's definitely been a journey so far, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So hoping to continue in the future as well. But today we've got an unboxing a lot like, or a few unboxings some big unboxings that I have been holding on to for a while. So let's stay tuned for that. Okay. But like I was saying, I've got some big unboxings. I have meant to open these a long, long time ago, but I just, I have it. I have it. And then I had made two orders back to back and something was back ordered. So then I was like, I'm just going to wait until I get everything. But I finally got all my stuff from Wooden Wick. So it's actually three giant boxes. If you guys don't know Wooden Wick, I would consider it to be like a luxury brand for candles. And right now I'm just trying to work on my non luxury brand, um, brand, but they were having a sale. I know, right? Crazy. They were having a sale. Um, so I jumped on some things that I really wanted to try. Um, and then on top of that, I have a box over here from Candle Science um, that I just wanted to open. I did make an order from Aztec Candle Company recently as well for some fragrances. Because um, most of the Candle Science stuff was because, um, well, some of you may know, I mainly get some of most of my supplies from flaming candle because i am based in atlanta and flaming candles in georgia so it's really easy for me to go place an order and go pick it up so i don't have to pay for shipping which is fantastic because when with does free shipping after a certain amount candle science does not so candle science can get super expensive just with shipping um, which is how your prices go up um and but with covid and everything they were getting a lot of people were doing candles a lot of candles and stuff so their call their order volume was increasing so normally something that would take me like a day like they were super fast before covid like i could place an order and it'd be ready for pickup same day and i could pick it up the next day um but with covid their orders you know good for them their business was picking up a lot so their their wait times were a little bit longer and i really 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 needed lids so I ordered from Candle Science, whose shipping is still super fast. Like that's the best part about Candle Science too. You don't have to pay for shipping. It gets out in two days. So like literally I ordered it. It was here four days later after I ordered it. I think I ordered it on a Sunday night. So, you know, <laughs> that's great. That's really, really great. And I didn't want to wait for my Aztec Candle Company order to open. I've never used them before though, ever. So. I am really interested. I think I got mostly fragrance oils from that. But let's get started. Let's get started. We'll push that over there. Let's see what we got in this. Oh shit, Tony. Hold it. God. I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor in my I do everything in my apartment. Um, so for those who are, you know, scared about starting things if when well, they only have small areas, I do everything in my I have, do have a two-bedroom apartment though. Um, but I share my apartment with my fiance and my two dogs. Um, so, and then between the two of us, both working in EMS and him doing a lot of FEMA stuff, we just have, I feel like we're always disaster prepared mode. So there's just stuff everywhere. Um, but I have made my apartment work for us and for me. And so you see kind of like my studio set up and how this is functioning in my living room right now. So you see a little bit of that. Okay, so of course, ooh, this is wax. So of course I had to get their famous Cocoa Apricot Cream Wax. Um, I think, let's see, this comes in five pound slabs. Um, so I got this in five pounds. So I had to of course get their, their renowned wax here. Like they are truly just known for this. Um, California and you know Wooden Wick also gets so many props on just their packaging like you know when you're ordering from suppliers like Candle Science, Flame and Candle and stuff like that like it's really about the supplies it's not really about the packaging so I don't really care but you know, how many pounds of this did I get I don't even remember so 5, 10, 
something tells me I got 20 pounds. That seems to be about, that's about what I normally order when I order wax is 20 pounds of wax. Ooh, I did. I ordered 20 pounds of this cocoa apricot cream and I'm so excited to try some candles with this guys. Like so excited because it just always gets, it gets so many good reviews. But if you know anything about wooden wick, it's not cheap. It's not cheap by any means, which is why like candles made from wooden wick things, they, they're, you know, you have to price them appropriately so you make a profit. So when people are making handmade candles, you do have to take that in consideration that people still have to make money off of their goods. And so you start getting into luxury waxes, luxury fragrances, and prices go up. Ugh. So that was the box one, 20 pounds of cocoa apricot wax. Woo. Let's see what we got in box two. These did come in two separate orders. So one was candle related, one was kind of not. One was more COVID related <laughs> and you'll see why. okay here's like a card um, oh it's um how to make candles beautiful it's like a candle card of how to make candles beautiful Ooh, I think I see something extra well not really extra but um, nice dude this was expensive expensive and I didn't even get that much stuff but it was expensive like I spend this much money like I'm just gonna tell you guys I spent hundred and twenty seven dollars with a discount of fifty four dollars and I only got 20 pounds of wax five jars a wick sample kit and a trendy top sellers fragrance kit $127 I spend the same amount at like flaming candle and other stuff and I am purchasing jars, lids, fragrance, like I'm purchasing a lot. I think these are tester strips that they put in here, which is great. So that means I can put them on a tester. I can put my fragrances on a tester strip to truly smell them and smell them appropriately. So that's good. But let's see, I got their packaging y'all. This is why their items are so expensive. It's because of their packaging, but I got the lids. I got these wooden lids rip them open it's cute um i think these lids are really cute look i just got the wooden ones that looks really good that right, looks really good i right, only got five of them only got five to try guys so i have to be picky with which candle frank fragrances i want to try Okay, well, I'm not gonna pull that out quite yet. What's this? Oh, so this is the Trendy and Top Sellers. So it's just, it's a small, small thing. Beautiful. How do I open it? And it opens up oh, as such. And you just get these small, small jars. Like they're tiny. And this costs, how much did this cost? I think about 30 bucks, maybe more. Well, remember I did get them on sale, so I got them at a discounted price. Um, 39.95, yeah, 40 bucks, 39.95. And so I got the trendy and top sellers because I didn't really know where to start. Um, but some of these sound really good. They smell good. The package smells really good. So that's a good sign. The sensuous world of fragrance. And so. So it gives you the, ooh, it smells. I don't think nothing's like broken. Because it is fragrant in here. It doesn't look like it. But it is fragrant in here. I like it though. I'm liking some of the fragrances though, guys. Um, they're cruelty free, paraben free, and it tells you how to use um, how to use your blotter strip so you can smell the fragrances before you use them. Ooh, 
And so that's fantastic. I like how they give you instructions so you really know how to use them. And so I'm definitely gonna have to do that before I just dive into making candles, especially cause these are 0.3 ounces. Um, so typically you use about one ounce to one pound of fragrance. So 0.3 ounces would be like a three ounce candle or like one of my really small jar lids. And so I would only really be able to make one um, to try them out, like a four ounce jar, something this small, um, something like this size. You'd only be able to make one per fragrance versus making more than one versus something of like this size, which is my eight ounce candle. So see, four ounces and eight ounces. So something to remember. Um, this must be my wicks. I started out wanting to try and use wooden wicks and then I was reading so much just about how they're temperamental, they can be a little tricky to use um, and make sure that they're wick correctly and burn correctly. And so I stopped using them initially but it's something I still really want to do because I love the whole vibe of wooden wicks. Um, and the kind of the vibe they, they give off, especially as a reader. I just like that cozy feeling of like candle, the crackling wooden wick sound, nice fragrance, and I just love it. And so they give you more directions, which I love that they give you directions for everything. Um, ooh, my head itches. I love they give you directions for everything. Got my wick clips and they're beautiful, personalized packaging instead of just like a baggie of clips. <laughs> so wick clips, these are probably really, they, you can buy cheaper wick clips than buying them from the wooden wick. Like definitely, definitely. And so, and then they give you different sizes um, of different wicks and my hardest part with this is trying to figure out which size um, which size to use where and so so at least now this tells you like best with paraffin soy blends which I think I just used all my paraffin soy um, candle like wax because um, I've been going all soy um, best with paraffin based waxes and natural wax blends with palm coconut or apricot oil for this one so they do give you a little bit more because I felt like I kept reading and I didn't know what to pick for which type of wick and I didn't like that and so and so there's a whole so I got a whole bunch so like this is best with a hundred percent beeswax so at least it tells you ooh, that's a lot of wicks in here there's more wicks in here than I had thought there were the whisper wick crackling level one and two so i'm gonna have to uh, i'm definitely gonna have to play with these but it, it was a lot it's a lot of wicks in here like, like a lot of baggies of wicks for their wick for their wick <laughs> i can't even talk guys for their the wick sample kit which is 30 bucks so it's a lot more samples of wicks than i thought it was um, cause there's like four of each type, there's four of each type of wick in the package, if that makes sense. I'm not saying that right. So there's four of each size of each type of wick in the package. So like this is the whisper wick, that's with paraffin and soy blends, but there's four of this width, four of that width, four, four different widths. So there's 16 wicks in here all at five inches and then I guess you would have to go on you have to determine what size jar is best with what width wick yeah with wick wooden with wick <laughs> and then the last thing I got in this one were jars and this is the other thing I had a hard time with um was trying to figure out oh god this is packaged heavily packaged they said you are not going to end up with any broken jars on our watch some fancy packaging. Very fancy. Got it. Got it. Okay, it's getting a little smaller. 
someone really had to sit there and package all this. It's so bad. Dude. Ooh, baby. Do I love this jar though? Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, I love this jar. Oh, I love this jar. See, this is how you end up spending so much more money on things. Because that jar is gorgeous. So gorgeous. See how that lid goes. Ooh, nice and snug. Nice and snug. Look at that, bitches. Does it fit? Does it fit? I don't really know if it fits actually. Look at that guys. That jar is gorgeous. Holy hell. I'm I'm in love. In love. In love. Ugh. See, this is how you spend five dollars per jar. Like five dollars per jar. I mean this is a huge candle though. This candle, um, holds Ooh, I'm gonna have to look it up. Let me look it up real quick. It, it's a huge candle. Mm, I put to sleep. So this fills 11 ounces of wax. Like that is a big candle. Like even my cute apothecary jars are like they're eight ounce jars, but they hold nine, almost ten ounces of wax, and like it's like this is a double wick candle and it's beautiful and it looks great um that's a double wick candle and then like my eight ounce jars technically hold they technically hold 6.7 ounces of wax so you're almost doubling that amount and then also putting in an expensive jar with expensive wax so that candle starts to come out pretty expensive pretty expensive and so and then the lids on top of that too mm. i don't necessarily know if you would need a lid or if you could like make one of those cute kit like covers you know kind of like like a like a disc cover for it but this jar though ooh, this jar mm, it's gorgeous and it's heavy too it's like sturdy sturdy jar okay let me stop talking about these jars it's beautiful though put this up. I'll have to reorganize my space. Put that in there. Put this in there. Put that in there. And my last, ooh, and my testers. I'll have to reorganize my space. My last wooden wick box. I don't know where my box cutter went. Or just some normal scissors, so. Exacto knife it is. Oh, that's a mom's name. That's weird. My dogs are like on the other side of the door trying to get in. Yeah. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so this is my second order. Okay, tips and tricks on how to make. Got my receipt. Why was I ordering this? Did I get a discount? Oh, it was discounted. Not that much though, so I still spent a lot of money. I really gotta stop doing that, guys. I need y'all to buy some candles though so I can make up for some of this. Love you, mean it, bye. <laughs> but it was like a beginning of COVID and yeah. And so I bought their hand signer, hand sanitizer kits and their crystal room and body spray kit. I've been a little interested in body sprays um, and getting also into like the body market, but I'm not ready to do that. I'm really trying to focus on the candle market right now or my candle market right now. So once again, the packaging on these things, they say y'all are not gonna ruin our boxes. And luckily it's all paper, so it's recyclable. And I can use it when I ship out my own stuff, right? Yep. Cause you guys are gonna go buy some candles from me. 
right? I can't get down the box. <laughs> Eric's gonna be so happy to have to take out all this trash. He's probably just gonna be happy that the boxes are gone. I'm struggling, guys. <laughs> Ooh, got it. Okay, so this one is the Crystal Cleansing Spray Kit. I don't know what that means. I do not know what that means, guys. I don't know why I was buying this. I literally don't know why I was buying this. I feel like Eric must have still been out of town and I was stress buying like because he went to New York to go help with COVID and I stayed here and played dog mom and so I must have been stress buying that's the only way I can put it <laughs> try out some new things woo so guys wooden candle packaging for the win. Wooden wick. What am I saying? So this is 100% natural cleansing spray made with essential oils. Okay, so I've got like a little cards thingies in here. Beautiful. So there's some of those. The benefits interesting so again then there's directions here of how to do it so that is going to be like a fun little side project the enhancer crystals it's gonna be a really fun little project i have to get me a different pour pitcher get that from like dollar store or something and then i've got lavender california lemon blood orange and so do i mix some it's supposed to make a few You've got a whole bottle of organic and wildcrafted witch hazel. Maybe I'll just have to make a whole different video of just like using these products because I don't know, I've never used them. And this one, your, your um, I guess the essential oils. And then. You've got a bottle. This is your spray bottle. And, but you're supposed to be able to make cake. So yeah, so there's one, two, one, two. I don't want to empty out all this packaging right now. Three. So there's four bottles in here. I think I have that right. One, two. Yeah, there's four spray bottles in here because you're supposed to be able to make four out of this kit. And so, whew, guys, that is going to be an experience. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to definitely just make a video on that. You know, we'll have to drink back together. What else do we have? Okay. Got our crystal hand sanitizer kit. So it's like a cleansing kit with witch hazel. Which you know, witch hazel's, you know, found in a lot of skincare products, so that is not abnormal. Another beautifully packaged. This one is a little bit different. This is organic alcohol and witch hazel base, which is a little bit different. Um 75% organic alcohol and 25% wildcrafted witch hazel because this is for the hand sanitizer versus the um, body spray. So it's just a smidge different. And we have the cards for the hand sanitizer spray like we had in the other one. Our instructions, our crystal enhancers. I don't really understand crystals that much, so I'm not really the one to ask about them. And we've got, oh, I didn't even notice that they had funnels in it, but I'm glad they have funnels in it. We've got blood orange, oh shit, I got blood orange, what's that say? 
California lemon again, and I think lavender again. So, same fragrances as that, and then four more spray bottles. I think it's spray bottles, it's not four spouts, they're sprays. Yeah, they're sprays. Okay, so there's that one. And the last one should be about the same too. But I will open it. Another, so this is the hand sanitizer kit without crystals. So I bought one of each. Um, so this bottle is a little different, or just like a different color. I don't know why it's a different color, but it's still alcohol and witch hazel. There's no crystals. Same fragrances, a little bit of a different bottle, but this one makes eight. So it makes eight of them though. So something to think about yeah so we got eight smaller bottles in this one and this is like four big bottles and like eight smaller bottles so something to think about so that is all of that guys that is my wooden way call okay this is my wooden way call today i know eric can't wait to get rid of those boxes because <laughs> they have been taking up precious space in this area. Now that we're done with that, let's do this quick, quick unboxing of our candle science box. It should be mostly fragrances and some wax because I have been trying to go um, completely soy or completely natural wax base. I guess I shouldn't say necessarily soy base um, because of the cocoa apricot. And I've um, dabbled with, co with um, coconut, coconut and soy blends as well. Um, This is like double wee box. I don't know what's happening up here. Um, but yeah, so I've been trying to go with completely natural waxes. Um, so one of these things I know I bought was wax too, which is also what made my shipping 30 bucks. I know, right? $30 <sighs> for shipping. For shipping. Mm, this box is weird. I always forget they got all these package peanuts. This box is really weird. I don't know, it's like extra foldy. <laughs> it's not a normal box, sweet. <laughs> and all these package peanuts. They're supposedly biodegradable packing peanuts. All I know is I reuse them when I ship my packages instead of just throwing them out, so. Uh, let me see, oh, I got a whole bunch of wicks. Don't really care about that. A whole bunch of wicks, 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 wicks. Oh, and then my other thing was I needed a lot of lids. I'm so happy because literally Flaming Candle had their lids sold out. Um, they were sold out. So um, I had to buy and they were, it took them two weeks to complete my order and I need lids. And so I bought from Flaming Candle and they got here in four days, maybe less. So. Um, but yeah, it took them two weeks when I'm used to them taking only like two days. So I wasn't ready for that. Mm, let's see, my, ooh, I got strudel and spice. Oh, I forgot, I picked out strudel and spice for my free scent. I don't know how I feel about it. It's pretty fall-like, I'm guessing. Oh, I didn't get any, um, what's it called? Fragrances. I was restrainful, probably because I ordered a whole bunch from Aztec. Okay, 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 hold on, I can do this, I can find it. But, what I did do was get golden wax melt and tart soy wax. So, I told you guys I'm trying to be um, natural wax based, and so I do make um, wax melts, um, wax melts, but some of them are still paraffin, which is fine. It makes them really cr like crispy and easy to break out. Um, but I also make um, wax molds too, which I don't have near my hand right now. Um, you know, I, I can easily get that though. It's a reach. Ooh, oh God. 
but I've got like unicorn wax molds. Anyway, so I've got wax tarts melts as well. And um, but I've just made these out of um, mm, it smells so good. out of um, soy and a little bit of soy paraffin, depending on the day. But most of the time, 100% soy. That doesn't always hold up as well. So I wanted to try this soy wax tart melt, but I'm sad because Flaming Candle doesn't sell it. So it's one of those things where it's like, okay, well that means I am probably gonna have to go to candle science for some of these things, and that makes me a little sad. Um, somewhere in here, I also, for some reason, got fragrance blotter strips. I had to actually read the directions on it, so. But I did get fragrance blotter strips um, because I've been ordering fragrances like a mad woman because I have an obsession, so. I did that. I thought I had fragrance in here, but it's fine. I didn't. Oh. So anyway, guys, um, that's it for me today. Um, if you guys like this little change from our regularly scheduled programming over here um but don't forget to go ahead and check out my etsy page um and check out my instagram because i've been really slow updating my etsy um with new listings and new fragrances but i do a lot better on my instagram of updating new fragrances um you can always dm me if you see a scent or a smell that you like um and i can fill the orders from there as well if you don't want to go through etsy um, I will say on Etsy, um, I'm just going to be completely candid on Etsy, my prices are a little bit higher because of their fees, um, other things associated with Etsy. So if you do just want to DM me, my prices are a little bit lower, um, cause I don't have to deal with fees, but I will tell you shipping. So anyway, um, uh, that's it for me guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell notification button. So you never miss anything. Follow me on all of the social medias including for my candles and until next time keep turning the pages